Hello, this is a video to explain uh, how to submit a Python file that ends in PY to Canvas. So basically it covers um, the, ass the assignment that's due um, this coming Sunday night. So here's what you need to do. So first I'm going to um, log in to Canvas, okay? So here's a Canvas class. It's similar to your class. It might not be identical, but it's very close. All right, and what you want to do is click on Modules, and we're going to be locating the assignment that's due. And we're in week two now, and we're going to be uploading to Canvas a solution for the sales prediction problem right here. So um, I'm going to click on that and it says that I'm to upload a Python file and not a screenshot. So um, if I switch this over to student view for just a second, you can see this, the, the um, start assignment button which would begin my process of uploading a file. But I, I've got to get that file and I've got to type that file. So what I have to do is uh, leave a Canvas for a moment and I have to go over um, to Revel. Okay, so now I've logged into Revel and this is the teacher view so it's not identical to student view but somewhere over on one of these tabs, probably this one, I don't know if it's called resources under students, but uh, you'll find open the book or you'll find continue reading or something to that nature. So you click that. So what we're looking for is the video. So now in chapter two is where the video lives. And um, this is all the work you did last week in, in um, in Revel, <clears throat> but this week we're going to take a look at a programming exercise. And so what we're going to do is open this up and there it is, the sales prediction problem. So this is the video that you need to watch so that you'll understand, okay? And what, what I'm going to do, just to um, save time, I'm going to go <clears throat> over to near the end of the video and that's what I'm supposed to type in. Not there in this video. So, we're going. Uh, I don't know, over here at 10 minutes in or something, there's a screen that I'm supposed to, to type. That's almost it right there. So if I maximize this, this, I can kind of see so case, what I'm supposed to type in. And this is what I'm supposed uh, to send first, uh, uh, is to Canvas and sales prediction once I type it into the editor. So let's talk about that a little bit. So I'm going to get out. So I've watched the video all the way through and I've gotten near the end and I see that what I'm supposed to type up is this. All right, so what I want to do now is I've still got Canvas on hold. I want to get in to idle, uh, into Python. So I've, I'm going to start up Python and you know, this is the shell and uh, some students are sending this in. This is incorrect, you'll lose points if you send in the shell. Okay, now this is Python 3.11. It's got a line down through here. You might not see a line if you're running a little bit earlier version. <clears throat> also, um, I've changed my background to blue, so if yours is white, that's fine. Don't worry about that. But what you need to do is you need to, f to type in, uh, click, on, once you get the shell running, okay, uh, and you get the shell running by, you know, locating this idle Python icon that was loaded on your desktop when you installed Python. Okay, so I double click that. You can also find that down in, this, in the start menu if you go to all apps and you go down here and you find Python. I might have several versions of Python installed but um, you look for the latest one in this case open it up. You want to be careful that you don't get this one right here. Uh, and these are documentations and stuff. So the one you want right here uh, if it's not on your desktop. Mine is on my desktop so I simply double clicked it 
All right, all right, I could click that. All right, that brings up the shell, but that's not what you send in. You have to um, go to the file menu in the shell and hit new file. And this is where we're going to send from. So we want to type in all of the uh, lines that we saw in that video. And this would be a process. I'm not going to go through that process, but you'll be switching back and forth here between um, Revel. See, I've got to type this into you know, Python here. Now, to save time, I've already typed it in. And um, here is the results. So now once I've got it typed in, I want to verify that it runs. Now, I've called it sales prediction problem. I'm going to run it by going to the run menu and hitting run module. And I'm going to type in 1000 and hit enter. And it should say the projected profit is $230. So this is not what I want over here. This is what I want. Now, once you've run it, the program's been saved. And in the title bar, it tells you where that program lives. OK? So this is, you'll have to, in this case, on my example here, I'd have to go to Drive C, into Program Files, into Python 3.11, and find the sales prediction problem that I'm going to upload to Canvas. OK? So I've typed it in. I've watched the video. I've typed it in. I've run the program. It runs good. Now I'm ready to. Uh, go put it into Canvas. So now I'm going to go back into Canvas right here and I'm going to start the assignment and, and I'm going to go down here and hit Upload and then I'm going to choose File and then I'm going to go out onto my computer and I'm going to find that file. Um, so show all files and um, I'm going to go over here on another screen just for a second and copy that file over there. So while I'm doing that, um, it's going to save a few steps. So I'm looking for that file I just showed you in Python. Okay. Okay, so now here's the sales prediction problem that I just showed you in Python. I had to copy it in here because of something that's going on with the video. And I didn't want to have to restart the video. But so here's the file right here that I need to upload. And then I click open and then I hit submit assignment. So you can see that I have the sales prediction problem dot py this is not a screenshot uh, this is those lines of code that uh, we have right here okay and they're inside this file and then I'll hit submit assignment okay I hope that answers all your questions about what I'm looking for on this particular assignment and if you have any questions that the video didn't answer please send me an email and I hope you're enjoying this class have a great programming day.